Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's video. I am showing you what I needed for my first horse. So, the first item was some fly spray. I put my fly spray in this refillable bottle. Just got a blue nozzle, and I just needed some more. So less of a new horse thing, but just more of a good thing to have. I've also got some Canter Mane and Tail. I've used this for years, and I've always found that it works quite well, so I got this for Rome. Now, I've never used Joshi before, so I don't know how that works, but I thought I'd get some coat conditioner just to help improve the quality of her coat, especially for shows and outings and things. This will just make her look all pretty. I do also have some Silver Honey Rapid Wound Care Repair ointment stuff. This will just be good to go right in the top of my tack trunk, just in case she cuts herself. I've also got some sound hoof conditioner, so I'm going to be using this before I hose her off so that the moisture gets trapped in her hooves and doesn't dry her hooves out when I wash her. But I don't know if anyone's ordered this before, but when I got it, and it still is, it's so greasy and oily on the sides, it's quite crazy. I didn't actually have any of these, so I thought I'd get some sponges for tack cleaning and just getting in the little bits of the saddle and bridle. I also got some plaiting bands because Romy's got a black mane and I'm planning on doing some dressage with her and these will just be good for me to practice plaiting. I always feel bad for the people who've got piebalds or paint horses because they've got to have like two or sometimes even three different colored plaiting bands. And to go along with that, I've got this, which is just a little kit. Um, it can go on a belt and it's got a comb, a clip to separate the mane, and this to take out rubber bands, and here if you were to thread in real thread. So Romy actually comes with her bridle sold with her. So it does come with reins, but I decided to get some new reins just because hers are fabric and I've just never used fabric reins before. And I thought these were really cool because you can see they've got leather on the outside. And then they've got these little like bumps, keep it a bit grippier. And then on the underside, they've got rubber. And so you get the best of both worlds. I did also need a lunge line because I didn't have one of these, so this is just the brand that my instructor recommended. And this huge package is from Equifit and it is um, ice boots because she will be out eventing lots, eventually doing loads of competitions and shows. So these ones are cool because instead of putting ice cubes in them, like the ones that I've used in the past, these have got this cool cooling gel, so you just pop them in the freezer in your car or trailer, and then you can use them. I've got this very long roller from Shires, and this is what I'm going to use when I'm lunging her. Then from Horseware Ireland, I've got this blue and white fleece cooler, which is definitely going to come in handy in the winter. I've used Horseware Island coolers with flash, and I will say he uses them pretty much everywhere. One very important thing that I forgot was a halter. I've used this before on her, so as you can see it's a little bit dirty, but this is the Lemire Bluebell, and I really like this type of halter. I've never seen like a half nylon half leather, which I think is super cool. As you can see, the leather's black, and since Romy's black, it matches her, and all the buckles are silver, which I really like. And this bluebell is such a pretty color. I also got a black lead rope to match. Because these four, this item is so big, I'm only going to be showing you one of them. So I've got the Amigo Horsewear shipping boots. Now, I've never used full-length shipping boots before, but they seem to be what seems to protect your horse best these days. And as you can see, the inside is super, super fleecy. And then it's just very nice in this pretty fig color. 
one of the many things that I ordered on Smart Pack is this lovely lavender trim fly mask. It's got very nice ears and I think that this will really help protect her from the flies. As well as brushing boots, I've got these Magic Equip jumping boots, which I'd never heard of, but a friend got them at the Kentucky 4 star or 5 star, and she really liked them. So these are going to be great for the summer, especially, they're super ventilated, and especially once we start doing some more jumping with her, or once we actually start jumping, these will be great. They've got really nice insides, and I already tried them on, and they fit her really well. And then this is what the back or fetlock boots look like. Now, I've had to move the tripod and camera over for this next item. So this is her nice big winter blanket. It's medium weight, and I believe it's like 220 grams thickness. I forget what brand it's by because I don't have the packaging here because I had to try it on her. But it fit her well, and it's just this pretty nice, nice green color. All the buckles are good, and it just seems to be really nice quality. It's got the fleece on the withers, and it's just a good blanket. The next item is very exciting. Ta-da! It is a Lemire saddle pad. This is the first ever Lemire saddle pad that I've owned, and I was super excited when this came. You know, it's got the really nice bamboo inside and the leather girth strap. This is the peacock color in size full in the CC or jumping shape. And I was just super excited to get this because I had no idea really what it would feel like and I've been wanting to get a Lumia saddle pad for quite a while, so ta-da! So the last saddle pad that I got for Romy was this Eco Gold saddle pad. Um, literally everyone at my barn has one or more of these because they are just really great. My plan is to use this for cross country and I spent a whole afternoon cleaning like a ton of these. This one is in the Kelly Green sort of color and I've used this sort of style on Flash for years so I'm hoping that this will be good for Romy. Because I needed a new pair of gloves, I thought I would include these in the tack haul. These are the pretty much only brand of gloves I've ever used. They're called the Rokul, I don't know how to pronounce it, no one really does. Um, but these are really good gloves. I've tried a lot of different colors, but I thought it was time to try the dual colored ones. So I've currently got the gloves in that color, but these are really cool.